Hello friends, Sentinel H here. Welcome back to our Revolution 3 Let's Play with Shiva. Say hi. Hello. So in the previous episode you saw us uh, you saw me upgrade our Hydro Tower with Liquid Chroma, something that I just recently discovered you could do. Uh, because I forget what his name was, told me about it, and then Ray could confirm that it's a thing. So now that's done, we're getting a lot more power out now. The question now is, Shiva, what do we do? I'm right now building a high pressure turbine. Sick. We're going to replace the old one. I'm right now just looking at your tutorial video because that's the only tutorial I'm building it I can find. How come I can't see any of your turbine housing blocks? Because it's already formed the first stage. Oh, I just can't see it. Well, hopefully it hasn't been changed since I made that. I don't think so. He no, rarely it's, changes it's stuff the like same that. So far, but it's just being fit finicky on detecting when it's formed. But, yeah. Did you know that you can build these multi-aura repeaters sideways? Uh, wait, what, what? These multi-aura repeaters. Oh, those? You can, no, you can build no, them sideways not. if you replace the columns with beams. Is there like a? Ooh, now I can see no, the first stage. Yeah, I think the server or something's lagging out. Yeah, probably. Okay. Now. Do we have, oh, um, do we have more, uh, uh, superconducting wires? No, we're out, actually. Right. That's why you have the gold wires there. Looks What's crazy. that sound? Oh, I keep forgetting that these growth accelerators make a cool sound. I fly past it, and I'm like, ooh, what's that cool sound? Duh. Silly me. Okay. So now, let me get some of this junk out of my inventory. I've got so much junk. I'm just shoving it in this sort sort box in here. And That's what it's so for. Yep. And uh don't need this induction generator. Don't need this power module. Don't need these enhanced energy comments. Okay. Can you flip the lever on the DC engine on the other craft to make more turbine housing? Oh, is that what this is for? Yep, that's for making the stuff for this, because you know how you should know how expensive they are. Crafts turbine housing, turbine blades, base paddle shaft units, repellers. Mm-hmm. The auto crafting unit is nice. A bit powerful. You can craft a lot of stuff in one block. Yeah, I'm just using the um stain move A system at least sixty four of what I need. I see you have some uh spinny storage crystal chargers. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I have a miner set up. If you look nearby there, in for, in, look for the auto blast furnace, and you find it. What? I have the, I have the harvester from Command Craft running. Where? Over here. Hmm? Over here. Oh. Oh, is that what this mineral extractor? Mm hmm. Oh. That's cool. It might. It might. Need to, I might have to say to recharge things on it because the ME battery on it died. Item fabricator making glowstone dust. Item fabricator making ender pearls. What are these? Yeah, those oh, drying beds. Yeah, for the salt. Remember, I need salt. Drying beds don't look like. Yeah, salt. You don't have enough? I have a light defense beams. Yeah, what do these things do? Shoot lasers? Uh, there should be a lever next to me. Oh! Well, that's a yes. Yeah, if anything, I can see if you use this defensive door the way it is. You know what I mean? Or a gate of some kind. What does it run on? Or I mean, it runs part. on, um... The re it runs off the relay. It runs off the relay. So, system. these little lumen relays? Yeah. Well, how much damage does it do? Uh, I stepped into it with my full armor, and it got me down, and I have the full setup, so let's see. I remember it dropped me down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 hearts. Wow, I would probably die if I touched it. Yeah. My power armor is probably not good enough. Those are pretty sick. It's like a giant ruby shooting a death laser. That's what basically it is. Okay, I need to do something. I need something to do. I need something, I need a project. My building is right. Let's see. Oh, man. I need to plan out my factory. <clears throat> That's one thing I need to do. Yeah. 
that's <clears> one thing you're long overdue for to take care of. That yeah, and building it's, it's going to take a long time. And finishing, you can finish the modern house. You can start getting the materials together. Ugh, the modern house. Yeah, that's another thing. Let me just—I need to grab some blocks. Oh, that's right. Well, we have plenty of cobblestone throughout the same room. Um, do we have any bricks? No, but we probably have. You want to mass-produce bricks? Yeah, let me grab. Let me let me grab a brick. I'd like to fabricate a ton of bricks. Do you have a fabricator that I can use? Um, check on the fabricators that are making the glowstone and, and their pearls. Oh, no, here, the one over by the house. It's not currently making anything. I was about to say, those, that's where I'm mass fabricating. Wait, episodes. it won't let me make brick blocks. Why? Well, it's not working. Maybe, maybe you can only do, like, clay or something. Maybe I can do non-crafted bricks. Come on, let me fly. Let me just... No, I don't want to marry Shiva. I want to activate this thing. You didn't realize there are two stations here. Brick. Alright, let's try fabricating a... an individual brick. Can a diamond pipe take what comes out of a high-pressure turbine? I mean, Wait, we can't fabricate bricks? Yes. Uh, we can probably only... F you're right, we can probably only fabricate the base clay. And you're going robotic -y for me. We can probably... And break we could probably only fabricate clay. Yeah, that makes sense. Because if Reika we... usually only lets you fabricate raw materials. Except for in the case of Atreus. But it doesn't actually, feel like it would be a problem fabricating brick blocks, because you... what else can you do with it? I mean, I know you can do other things with it, but... All right, so I'm crafting clay now. I oh, this chest is full of leather. We uh, we fabricated a lot of leather. Any? Yeah, did you need them for something? Yeah, we were making belts. Something. And we just forgot to turn it off. There we go. <laughs> okay. Um. Basically, like, we'll want to take the bricks, the clay, and shove it into a, um... Um, why'd you dump all the leather into this thing? What? You dump all the leather into <laughs> the... I know, I did. Table and the... <laughs> I wanted to see if you would say something. Alright, well, unfortunately, the clay is taking a while, actually. It's not that quick. It might be the network strain. Recently, I did a lot of crafting with Minecraft, and it kind of drained the system. Anyway, it uses uh, Vidali and Ruskia, of which you apparently have like a hundred and eight, like a million and almost two million in here, so that's not it. Anyway, well, we want to take it and we want to shove it into a crystal furnace. Just come on, let me fly. Why is my flight not. Wait, am I out of power again? Ugh. Ugh. I'm out my nuclear. Maybe you should uh, maybe you should uh, make making making you new char new fuel cells. My nuclear cells. power cells are depleted. Plenty faster than you can deal with them. Bricks. All right, let me just request. All the bricks. What the heck oh, is server will be starting in 30 the heck minutes. Is go direct. I'm getting we're getting a phone I'm getting a phone call from it. Go direct. That sounds like a direct TV gut. That's thing. nothing that I'm familiar with. Anyway, I'll craft all these brick blocks. I want to use brick blocks to lay it out because they're they're mm -hmm. easy. But you see the warning about the server restart? Yeah, so just wanted to give you Oh darn it! It let me fly for a bit and then it cut me off because I'm out of power. So I don't have like a solar power jetpack. Oh no! Did the uh, did the um, chemical labs what? get caught in the explosion? No, officially moved it by the arc, arc furnace for some reason. Oh okay. Just making sure they're not Man. gone. Where are they? 
Look by the arc first. I am looking like, by the arc. Oh, the, there we look go. Look the bunch of barrels. It was over. It's over here. Oh. There's like 28 nuclear power cells in here. Oh, yeah. He was making himself a flight uh, gravity belt or whatever. Well, I have stolen them. Ha 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 ha. Don't worry, I threw some more in there. They'll charge up and he'll have a couple. <laughs> I'm gonna keep all of these. Maybe that's the first thing you make making your factory. I wish I had like, more I need like a beam. I want like an excavation beam I can use to get rid of this dirt. I need a shovel. I can't real. I can't, I, I don't real. uh, it's hard to believe that I, I don't have a shovel. Hmm. I would like a bedrock shovel, please. We'll find some bedrock in the process. Actually, well, once I get the high pressure turbine right in Benny. I have one bedrock alloy ingot. Is that enough? I don't know. I've actually got the look I actually haven't made one legitimately. It probably is. Nope. You need. Oh wait, no. It probably is one. Yeah, you just need one and a blast furnace at a thousand degrees. Where's our blast furnace? Uh, it got blown up. You have to make a new uh, one. Uh, you mean I have to grab some stone bricks? <laughs> there's no fuel in those, and there's only 1,000 bucket of jet fuel left. Oh no, is that going to be enough? No, and because you know how much it burns to start them up. They might, actually, instead of doing it over here, once they get the high pressure turbine running, I'm about to get started. Uh, getting up I really want to put this bucket of fuel in here. Go ahead. It's not going to last long enough, though. You're right. How long is it going to last? One minute. That's not going to be enough. Oh, wait. It's turned wrong. Come on, baby. Oh, wait. It might be enough. It is. Oh, come on. That's... Come on. Hold out on me. Don't run out of fuel. Yes. It's going. I don't know what's going on. It's crafting. The micro turbine will run out of fuel in 15 seconds. But my, my bedrock shovel is crafting. Come on, baby. Come on. Micro turbine is out of fuel in three, two, one, zero. Okay, it ran out of fuel. The blast furnace is cooling, but okay, I'm come on, finish. Yes, bedrock shovel. Oh my goodness, Shiva, it was just enough. I know high pressure turbine takes more water, but this is ridiculous. Ooh, the, the whole tower is water. glowing now that it's full of liquid chroma. That's so cool. All right, I have a bedrock shovel now. Oh, all these mobs get in my way. Thankfully, I have a nuclear death ray. I should stick it on a turret next to me, just so that it'll constantly kill things. I still don't think the nuclear death ray is the best weapon for a turret. I still think that high damage single shot weapons are better. I mean, this is really good. Okay, this is weird. Okay, so there's that. And that's lined up with that. But we don't want to line up with that. We want to do some more cool stuff. So I want to have some sort of a large structure over here. So you said one high pressure turbine is enough to match eight. I think it's like standards. eight turbines, yeah, if you make it full size. And you want to make full size? I'm talking double, double, just one size of it. I don't know about that, because I always wanted to make them full size, just because you get the most efficiency that way. But so I really don't know if you well, break it up. Well, full size sounds like you're looking for like something like equivalent to a fusion or fission reactor. What? I don't know, man. However much you can afford, however big you want to make it. Anyway, this is the basic, basic initial layout for the factory. I know it doesn't look like much, it just looks like a couple of squares and rectangles, but once I've uh, built it out of bricks and sandstone in the same style as this tower, 
in a true Vic style of a Victorian factory, uh, it's going to look sick. If you look up on Google Victorian factory, you'll see what I mean. Uh, they were both basically just large rectangle structures with uh, covered in windows, and uh, they still look. I think they still look cool, even though they're they were just built for um, functionality. Because you got to remember that uh, the Victorian era, a lot of these factories still didn't have electric lights. Electric lights were becoming more and more co uh, common as the Victorian era progressed, but uh, initially these factories wouldn't have had. Either they wouldn't have had electric lighting, or they wouldn't have wanted to have the have it on as much as possible. So factories back then were completely covered in windows. Oh, that's a slippery. Windows everywhere because they could only work during the daylight. So uh, you just had that makes more yeah. sense. Now. Which, funnily enough, uh, because they were covered in all those windows, makes those buildings look good aesthetically to me anyway. Even though they're they're just factories, so they're basically just big rectangles. I figure out what's wrong with my stuff. What? It the water is like flowing fast enough into the boiler. You need higher throughput. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna get some bedrock. Pumps nice. And put and hook up a pump. All right. So yeah, this is the basic shape, and then the next time you see it, it'll probably have some work done. I want to get the foundation set, and uh, the bricks ready, and it's gonna look it's gonna look good. I think like my basic plan at the moment is um, between this square bit over here and this square bit over here, you see we have this large gap. Instead of putting more building there, I figure I'll put a loading area here as a decorate as a decorative tool, although we could also have train tracks running through it. Um, like a loading dock area, so I'll use slabs for that, and we'll have like train tracks running through. And uh, that'll look cool at the front. And uh, it can also have some something of a main entrance, um, or at least an entrance over here with stairs going down, because I figured that the fount the f the factory is probably going to be uh, it's gonna it's off the ground for most of this area, so, um, but it's not going to be this high up because I need it to be level with the dam, so I'll have to lower it down a couple of uh, a couple of grades, unless I want to make the uh, some sort of building here. But yeah, the whole thing's going to get lowered down, and then where it doesn't meet the ground, I'll have a foundation, probably of uh, maybe stone brick. Uh, that'll look good. And, uh, well, maybe not stone brick, because, well, yeah, stone bricks look okay when combined with uh, the bricks and the uh, sandstone. But I don't want to use it, a ton of it. So anyway, this will look good eventually, and it'll, it'll get huge later, too. And then we can take all this junk that's currently strewn about outside, and we can shove it in here, in a way that makes mm -hmm. it probably in an accurate and make it in an ac in a way yeah. that makes sense. We'll have de and turn into an assembly line to automatically yeah. f process. We'll have like doors. dedicated rooms for various things, so that everything is in a logical location and that makes sense. And then I can put these um, immersive engineering tanks. Uh, fluid tanks and stuff in uh, either on the on roof, the roof on some of the roof sections or on the loading dock area so they look cool and, and make it aesthetic additions. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll have to cut here because the server is going to restart. Um, I hope you enjoyed and uh, look forward to what this factory is going to turn into. I certainly am. It's going to take a lot of work. The last time I built a Victorian factory in a survive was in a survival setting and uh, it took an eternity. Um, because of, of mm -hmm. smelting all the bricks, but then just laying the whole thing out. So anyway, uh, stay tuned for future episodes. I'm probably going to do some work on this off camera. I might stream it if I have time, but we'll see. But you'll get to see. Um, or, he, or you may never get around to no, it. No, I'll get around to it eventually. I just don't know if it's going to go up in the same style as this tower did in a, in a sort of tutorial style or if it's just going to go up. And I'll talk about it. But anyway, uh, like and comment the video if you did enjoy it. Consider joining our Discord if you'd like to chat with us. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.